you know, there's a reason why they're the number one team in the conference. You know, they played very well. And, um, you know, trying to be as positive as possible, but also realistic. You know, we had a game plan going in. We wanted to try to execute and do some things. Um, Anderson was better at us than what we were able to execute, especially in the serve, serve, receive game. But at the same time, we did some other things that we've been working on. You know, we did those well. You know, I was very happy with our ability to connect with our middles at various points in time. I thought that was really a bright spot for us that, you know, hasn't always been there for us this year. And, and to see them have some good connections and some good contact, that was, that was definitely encouraging. Another thing that I was really proud to see from the girls is that they were very coachable during that match. We made some adjustments to some things, and they were able to execute some of those adjustments very well. Absolutely. You know, there's been times when our offense hasn't been able to click as efficiently as we would like to, but we still have that opportunity on the defensive end to, you know, have a good net presence or even if, you know, we're not able to end the rally at the net with a good block, we're playing pretty good defense behind that and, um, you know, giving our offense an opportunity to, to have another go at it. Mm. So if we can find a way for all things to be clicking, that could be pretty good. But, you know, that's kind of the name of the game for everybody is to, to get everything going in the right direction at the same time. Well, you know, it's a very tough weekend, you know, taking one match at a time, but, you know, looking at it overall, we've got two of the top three teams in the conference and two of the top teams in the region as well. So a very tough weekend at hand, you know, we're gonna take one match at a time. We're just focused on Friday night. Um, first and foremost, you know, very excited to honor our seniors, you know, with Friday night being senior night. Um, you know, always a, a special night and, and knowing that, you know, these young ladies who have committed and ded dedicated themselves to our program and, and to their teammates and to their coaches, you know, really excited to honor them, you know, with that night. As far as what we need to do on the court, you know, we need to play well, you know, kind of alluded to it before. I mean, we just need to see if we can get everything going, you know, starting with the serve, serve, receive battle, then seeing if our defense can lead to good offense and if our offense can terminate. Um, it's got potential to be a pretty fun night, though. I believe last that we looked, I, I think mathematically, I think we're in the tournament. Um, but the, the discrepancy in that four through eight is tremendous, and not just for us, but across the conference. I think the top three slots are the only thing that are guaranteed between Anderson, Wingate, and Queens. And then those, and, and you know, we may not even be in for sure. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, you know, really know. I know it's going to be close. And, and I believe last that we looked, we could, you know, finish, you know, possibly as high as fifth and as low as eighth, just depending on obviously first and foremost what we do. And then secondly, what happens, you know, with some other matches in the conference. So what happens outside of our gym, we have no control over. Again, we're just going to try to focus in one night at a time and, and be the best version of ourselves that we can be.